Hello. Hello. Come in. Come in. Come in. Come in. Can you hear me? I'm trying to send a distress call. Is there anybody out there that can hear me? Anybody? Anybody? Please come in. I need help. SOS. SOS. Anybody? Anybody? Please come in. Shalom and welcome back to Truth and Encouragement. My name is Todd Shoprai and I want to welcome you to my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for tuning in where the frequency is loud and clear because Almighty God makes it loud and clear. Amen. This is a message that the Lord gave to me back in December of last year. I recorded it one time, but then I took it off and I wanted to redo this message over again. The Lord really laid this on my heart because there are people out there that are sending a distress signal. Amen. And they're waiting for an answer from that distress call. And only God can give that answer when you cry out to Him and repent of your sins and turn to the living God and let the blood of Yeshua, Jesus, wash you, cleanse you, and make you a new creation. Amen. You see it on the streets, in the supermarkets, to your job and at home. A high-pitched distress call. A signal being sent out to you trying urgently to get you to pay attention and listen closely. It's called an SOS, a simple but very strong three-letter word. It was used in the ancient marine time when a ship was lost at sea and called for help to being shipwrecked on a deserted island all alone with no one to talk to. I went to look up the word SOS in the Webster's Dictionary and this is what it says. SOS is a distinctive Morse code sequence and not an abbreviation, but in popular usage, it is associated with phrases such as save our souls and save our ship. Doesn't that sound like you? That you are crying out, wanting God to save your soul, to save my soul, and that you and I are like a ship tossed to and fro at sea. And only God can save our ship. Only God can take your broken life and put the pieces back together again, amen? You know, living a life alone and without people in it is the most frightening thing. And let me go a step further. Living your life without God in your life, without Jesus as your Lord and Savior, that is the most terrifying thing to ever go through. <clears throat> there is no one there to encourage you, lift you up, make you laugh, and share precious moments with you together. You're basically talking to yourself, a one-way signal and not a two-way. And when you are alone with no way to communicate and receive a response, you are only eating static. For example, go and turn on your radio and move the dial to a station with no frequency. All you hear is static. And I just showed you that at the beginning of my video, where there was nothing but static. And that is all your life is, but you're living your life with nothing but static. Everything you look at, every time you breathe, every time when you taste food or take a drink, or when you see or smell or breathe, all you hear is static. And the only device you have that you can call out for help is an SOS distress call. It's a signal that Almighty God put inside every living being on planet Earth. Did you know that? God has given us a distress call where we can call on Him, amen? And the Bible says, whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord shall, not might, but shall be saved. That's a distress call, and God is ready to answer, amen? It's a longing to want to live and not die, to fill that empty void in your life that no one else can fill but God alone. And that device, that signal that God wants to give you is His only begotten Son, Yeshua, Jesus, the Savior of your soul. He is the only one that can save your sinking ship at sea called life and answer your SOS call 
and become captain of your ship, calm the storms and give you peace through his Holy Spirit that lives forever and ever, amen. Isaiah chapter 43 verse two says, when you pass through the waters, I will be with you and through the rivers, they shall not overflow you. When you walk through the fire, you shall not be burned, neither shall the flames kindle upon you, amen. Let Yeshua, Jesus, answer your SOS call and walk with you through the fly and through the fire you're going through in your life. Let Yeshua be Lord of your life and give you his holy word to battle anxiety, to battle worry, to battle depression and have victory over it, amen? As mankind is sending out SOS signals every day, so Yeshua is wanting to answer them and save mankind. John 3.16 says, For God so loved the world, He gave His only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth Him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. You have to cry out to God to turn away from a life of sin and death, and Yeshua will hear your distress call and save you. Amen. Dear friend, you don't have to live your life like a ship lost at sea, with no direction, and headed into a storm with tidal waves that beat you down, with anxiety, with fear, with loneliness, with rejection, with torment, with separation, and with despair. Send out the signal, SOS, 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 save our souls, save our ship. God will hear you and lift you up out of the miry clay and set your feet upon the rock, amen? And that rock is Jesus, the lover of your very soul, amen. Dear friend, the reason why there's war, famine, hatred between people and disease is because mankind doesn't acknowledge that there is a God. So without an SOS distress call, God cannot help you until you cry out to him for help. He cannot save your sinking ship in your life until you send the distress call. You got to turn on that radio, brother and sister. You got to tune in to the Holy Spirit and you got to cry out to God and he will save you. Amen. Whosoever, the Bible says, shall call on the name of the Lord shall be saved. Yeshua is seated on the throne in heaven and he hears your SOS call. He's waiting on you to call on him. Please do not delay or ignore his call. Please come and accept his invitation. His invitation is wide open to you. Call on him and he will save you from a shipwrecked life of pain and suffering and give you a new life full of love and compassion and a love for the human race, amen. He will rescue you and rebuild your tattered ship. Get off your island of sadness and despair and, put, and let Yeshua put you back on course with joy and gladness through the Holy Spirit, amen. Your final destination, the kingdom of God, amen. Let's pray. Dear Yeshua, thank you so much for answering my SOS call. My ship that I sail in the oceans of life is off course and without purpose. I went my own way only to shipwreck my life on a deserted island full of pain and suffering. Only you, Jesus, can save me. I turn away from my sins and repent before you. Write my name on your crew list called the Lamb's Book of Life. Thank you for hearing my distress call and saving my soul from hell. In your precious name, Yeshua, I pray, amen. If you prayed that prayer and you believe it with all your heart, you are saved. Not only are you saved, but your spiritual ship and your soul is saved. Let the Holy Spirit fill you and saturate you with the love of God, amen. Yeshua is the answer to everything. No matter what you're going through, 
no matter what you're fighting, surrender it to the living God and let Yeshua carry you through the fiery trials and through the flood. Thank you so much for tuning in and listening to the message. I hope you were blessed. I really believe that many people who hear this message is going to be healed of a broken heart. Amen. And they're going to have their spiritual ship repaired and it's going to sail back at sea because Yeshua is going to be the captain of that ship. Let Yeshua, let Jesus be the captain of your ship and put you back on course. Amen. God bless you. Whenever you're going through trials and tribulations, whenever you're walking through the valley of the shadow of death, remember this, blow the trumpet in Zion. Thank you so much for joining me. God bless you.